Hello everyone, this is Arun and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make this quick video to show you how you can incorporate a deep link in a BI Publisher report. If you use OTBI, it's very easy to include a link on the OTBI report where the user can click on the link and it takes you to the application uh, web page. So for example, if you have a list of invoices in the report, you could include a link um, on the invoice number, which will, when the user clicks the link, it will take you to the invoice page um, in the application, right? So it's pretty easy to do that in OTBI. Today, I wanted to show you how to do that in a BI Publisher report. All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna try and do is a very simple BI, BI Publisher report. We have invoice number, date, invoice amount, amount paid and also invoice ID. I'm not showing that in this um, uh, PowerPoint presentation, but uh, those are the columns that we have. And the intent is when the user, uh, I want to include a link on the invoice number so that the user can click on the invoice number, uh, the link, and it takes the user to the uh, web page in the application, right? That's what we want to do. I've created a BA Publisher report already. Um, let's review the report first. All right, so you can see you have invoice number, invoice date, invoice amount, amount paid, and invoice ID, right? So let's take a look at this um, invoice number. Now, what I want to do is um, obviously give an option for the user to click um, on the invoice number and then takes them to the, uh, the page where they can view the invoice, right? So if you know the deep link URL, I'm going to share that with you. So this is the URL that we have to use um, to get to the invoice page where the user can see the invoice in the, in the screen, the UI. Now you'll see that one of the parameters or the values that we need to pass is the invoice ID. And that's the reason why I've in included invoice ID in the report. Um, so if I were to take this um, link and let's navigate to this. And you'll be able to see that we are able to see the invoice right here. This is the invo same invoice. You can see the invoice number ABC5709. And if you look at the invoice number here, ABC5709. So we know that if we include this deep link, uh, we'll be able to um, enable the user to click on the link and it'll take them to the web page where they can view the invoice. Right. So. To make it dynamic, obviously we have to pass the invoice ID for each of these record, right? So uh, we cannot hard code the value of the invoice ID. We have to get it um, dynamically. Uh, for each row, the invoice ID changes. So we have to make sure that we pass the invoice ID for that specific row and the user is able to get to that specific invoice number. So that's what we want to do. Uh, let's take a look at the RTF template. So this is the RTF template. Um, we have invoice number, the date, the invoice amount, amount paid, and invoice ID. I put it there so that you can see the invoice ID. Now, what I want to do is I want to include a link on the invoice number field, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste this as a link. So let's go to insert and link and give this, click OK. Save. All right, let's check this out, how this looks. So I'm going to go to Edit Report and Properties, Upload, Choose File, Drill Through, Open, and this is English United States. Click OK. OK. Done. Let's run this report one more time. And you'll see that there is a link um, on each of the invoice numbers. Now, obviously, we hard coded the invoice ID, right? So uh, here's the invoice ID that you see. So if I can click on this, it'll take me to the correct invoice, right? Okay, so it took me to the correct invoice, ABC5709. Let me click on this, MBP prepay 3. It doesn't take me to the correct invoice. And the reason for that is we have hard coded the invoice ID, right? 
So the next change that I wanted to show is how to make this dynamic, meaning how can I pass the invoice ID to the link, right? So the only change that you have to do is here, but I've hard coded the invoice ID, change this into invoice underscore ID. Now this is the XML tag um, in the BA publisher um, for invoice ID. So invoice underscore ID, I have the curly braces opening and closing curly braces. Let's copy this. Let's edit the link. Paste this, click OK, save. And let's go and upload this. So edit report properties, upload, okay, okay, save, return, let's run this. All right, now let's click on this report, this invoice number. Let's click on this invoice number, MBP prepaid three. All right, you can see that it took me to MVP prepaid three. Let's click on this one. And it took me to SUP301. <clears throat> so that's how you can make a deep link in a BA publisher report. And I also showed you how you can make it dynamic, right? You were passing the invoice ID into the link. Uh, to pass the invoice ID to the link, we use the curly braces and the XML tag here, invoice underscore ID. Um, so I hope this was helpful and if you found this helpful you're going to find the master class for BA Publisher drill down to be very 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 useful to you. In that master class I show you a lot more than this how to get the URL dynamically, um, how to drill from one BA Publisher report to the other BA Publisher report. I'll also show you how to pass parameters between one BA Publisher report and the other BA Publisher report when you drill from one to the other. So all of this will be covered in the masterclass. All right, so I just wanted to make this quick video today. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with your colleagues and friends, obviously. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask those questions in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.